And here at home, a startling drive-by shooting in Toronto's downtown core early this morning sent two people to hospital with gunshot wounds. Police believe road rage and street racing may have sparked the gunfire, which comes just days after a mother was killed in broad daylight. Here's CTV's Adrian Gobriel. Jarring eyewitness video captures the moment police arrived at the scene of another brazen blast of gunfire on Toronto streets. All the people around where they were just uh, running to save themselves. A woman's shoe and multiple shell casings marked the spot where the bullets began to fly shortly after 6 a.m., sending two to the hospital, just steps from a major downtown intersection. I heard gunshots, I woke up because of it. There was a lot of blood. A concerning case of road rage may be to blame, according to police. Officers also responded to a call with regards to stunt driving, and occupants of the vehicles involved in this stunt driving call were also in front of 7 Charles Street at the time of this shooting incident. They've got a gun. Many Toronto residents are already on edge following a lunch hour shooting on Friday in a neighborhood full of families. A stray bullet struck and killed an innocent mother of two. Hopefully we remember that Toronto has just been ranked, I think, number fourth uh, safest uh, city in North America. While police worked to temper growing anxiety, the continued flow of illegal firearms into the country are responsible for the majority of Canada's street-level violence, according to a former gang leader. What we know is that the majority of them are coming in from the U.S. Anti-gun advocate Marcel Wilson used to run a notorious Toronto gang. He believes the federal government's ban on the sale and importation of legal handguns is missing the mark. It may have some effect in, uh, with different forms of violence, femicide, um, maybe even in suicide in some cases, but when it comes to gang violence, when it comes to random violence that we're seeing in the streets, uh, it'll have little to no impact. As for this latest shooting, investigators are short on suspect details. All we know is that they're looking for a black SUV that was seen fleeing westbound along this downtown side street. Adrian Gobriel, CTV News, Toronto.